Back, eh? How's it going? Honestly, I like when you get personal. Absolutely. Sona is clever, and she's proven that she can tackle anything life throws in her path. You can rest assured that she will get the best education and care that Constellation can possibly provide. You know, Sona and I share an interesting bond. We both survived on that inhospitable world, and it drastically altered our lives. Most importantly, though, I'm certain we're both stronger after the experience. There was a particular someone back in my days with the UC Navy. We actually became quite close at first. But as I rose in rank, I became more interested in my career than what she needed from me. I let her drift away. By the time I realised what was happening, it was too late. She requested a transfer and I lost touch. Anyway... <laughs> I've dated other men and women at various points in my life, but I'd hardly classify any of them as relationships. As you might have guessed, I tend to concentrate on work and let my personal feelings fall by the wayside. It often drives others away. Very well. Next time, then. Damn, I was starting to enjoy the conversation. I'm all for getting a little wild, but next time, let's try it without the jetpacks, hmm?
happy to listen. I'll only carry the good stuff. <laughs> Just kidding. It was nice talking to you again. Hey there, glad to see you again. Bring me anything useful? Don't stay away too long. If you need something, I've got your back. Have something for me? We should get a drink sometime. Hello there. beach, the sand, the sound of the ocean. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm fairly new here, so sorry in advance if I screw something up. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
keep scanning. I'm sure there's something nearby. It certainly was nice of you to think of me when sending invitations to my daughter's wedding. It's good to see you too, Mum. I just wish you would have given me more notice. Or maybe some time to get to know your dear partner. I barely even know his name. I... <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. I haven't heard from Sarah in some time, and this was all a lot to take in all at once. Like any mother, I just want what's best for my daughter. As long as she's happy, I will be too. I apologize for adding any stress to your special day, my dears. Oh, all good things, I hope. I know our relationship has its ups and downs. But at the end of the day, my daughter is my world. Oh, Mum, I'm blushing. It was nothing bad, I can promise you that. I was just saying how we don't speak much, but I hope that will change. Anyway, I'm sorry, Mum. I know how this must all seem to you. This was a sudden decision, and we didn't want to waste any more time. We wanted to keep the ceremony small and involve only the people I care about the most. Sarah, dear. You're going to make me tear up before the ceremony even starts. I want you to know that even though I don't say it as often as I should, I love you very much. I'm delighted to be here, and I wouldn't miss this for the world. I love you too, Mum. Thank you so much for being here. There will be loads more to talk about later. But for now... Let's not keep poor Raja waiting. Just a few moments for everyone to take their places. It's so lovely to see you, Sarah. It's wonderful to see you too, Raja. This is the one I told you about. I've heard a lot about you. All of it good. You're quite a catch. Ten seconds in and already you're embarrassing everyone. Before we go any further, I just want to make sure that you are right for Sarah. She's quite special, hmm? Oh, God. Now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> That's called love, my dear. You better get used to it. Well, I've seen enough. I can read people the moment I lay eyes on them. And you... You're going to make Sarah quite happy. 
Coming from you, Aja, that means a lot. Of course, Sarah. You know I always look out for you. Now, are we ready to begin the ceremony? Very well. If everyone's ready, then I'll begin. It's been years since Sarah Morgan and I have spoken. And though it might appear that we've grown apart, I feel that we've become closer friends than ever before. When I received the message with Sarah's intent to marry, and that she wanted me to officiate the ceremony, <laughs> I was overwhelmed with joy. Not because she had decided to rekindle our friendship, but because she was allowing me to share the happiest moment of her life. I can't imagine a greater honor. And for that, Sarah, I thank you. I wouldn't have had it any other way, Aja. Before you present your vows, I'd ask both of you to remember that love is what brought you together today. It is a foundation upon which a structure of trust, faith, and affirmation is built. This structure can be absolutely impenetrable if you both agree to love each other unconditionally with faith, devotion, and acceptance. And most importantly, to allow yourself to be loved. Remember, there are no other bonds more meaningful than the one you are undertaking today. You should cherish this moment and hold it close to your hearts as a reminder of the love you share. If you both are willing to abide by these words, then you can be assured that your lives will be filled with joy and happiness forever. That was beautiful, Asha. Thank you. Did you need a moment, Sara? No. No, I'm fine. But I wanted to say something before you continue. When we stood beside that waterfall in New Atlantis, you told me that I deserve to be with someone who understands my feelings. It was at that very moment I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Your love means everything to me. And I swear to return that love freely and unconditionally, without hesitation. This is my solemn pledge to you. From deep within my heart, from deep within my soul, for all eternity. And you? Did you have anything you wanted to say to Sarah? I know it will. I don't deserve someone as special as you. You had a gift, Sarah? Yes. I wanted you to have this as a token of our love. I'm giving this to you as a symbol of the clean break I've made from my past. Oh, it would have been impossible without your help. And for that, I'll be forever grateful. With these promises of affection and these vows you've exchanged, by the power vested in me by the Articles of Constellation, I happily pronounce you life mates. Congratulations! Aja, I don't know what to say. That was... Oh, amazing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having the ceremony without you. I'm glad everything worked out for you, Sara. I'm only sorry that we waited so long to reach out and contact one another. You better. Otherwise, I'd have to come out of retirement and hunt you down. <laughs> well... You're both welcome to stay here for as long as you like. Sarah, your mother will be staying here with me for a few weeks. We've actually got a lot more in common than I expected. 
So, I guess this is goodbye for now. I wish the both of you a happy and healthy life together. I'll never forget this, Aja. Thank you. Don't worry. I know how new in-laws can be. I'll try to work on her for you and Sarah. There's got to be something useful out here. Well, well. Back for more, eh? Spending these moments close to you makes everything I've gone through worthwhile. If it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask.
You've done that before. 